you feel for sharing. I'd also very much like to thank Ibrahim for putting on this event. Uh, everyone always thanks Ibrahim for putting on events at many events I go to. But one of the roles people may not be aware that he does is as chair of the British Takeaway Campaign, where he represents over 28,000 independent SME restaurants and is doing sterling work on their behalf, challenging on issues such as skill shortages and business rates. So thank you very much, Ibrahim, for the work you do there. Uh, one of my roles is as founder of Newington Communications, which is the SME, and one of our major campaigns over the last year uh, or two has been working for the Licensed Taxi Drivers Association in their battle to continue as a trade within London under the threat of Uber. And I'm not going to talk uh, a great length upon that, just to say I don't think that's anything about the technology. I think it's about an employer that should be meeting its obligations as an employer. And I think that's, uh, the, I mean, I'm fully behind the position that Sadiq's taken in banning uh, Uber at this point. Uh, and I think it was a very brave decision of him, and I'd like to see more of that from Labour politicians going forward. Uh, I'm also an executive director of the SEC group, which is an Italian group uh, with uh, agencies all over the world. So I've seen lots of different practices in different countries, and I think there's a huge amount that we can learn from other countries in how we address things like full employment rights, but also employment of the self-employed. Uh, and I'm also finally a member of the Ethical Advisory Board of the Marston Group, which has employees and self-employed on it. And I think it's really interesting to look at the various issues that both those sides challenge. Uh, challenge. However, within the Labour movement, I'm actually better known for being Joanne Baxter's husband. So I will hope you have an opportunity to vote for her in the coming NEC elections. <laughs> um, I think SMEs traditionally have been an area of weakness for the Labour Party, and particularly in Labour policy. SME owners, entrepreneurs, have not always been our natural supporters, but they really should be. But we need to recognise that businesses take risks to earn income and make profit, and we need to recognise that we need to reward that risk, and I think that's a piece of work that the Labour Party really needs to do in much more detail. We need to also to recognise that profit is not a dirty word, and think about how we talk about business and how we talk to business. But profits do need to be made in properly regulated and competitive markets. And we haven't always got the regulation wrong, and we haven't always ensured that there is proper competition. Profits should be made from activities that benefit society, no matter how broad that definition is, from well-run companies that properly reward their workers, and with more and more workers sharing in the success of that, comp of their, uh, of that company, as well as the investors benefiting, purely benefiting from that success. And I think often the workers are the people who pay the price if the company fails, but very rarely get the benefit if the company succeeds. Sadly, I think the gig economy has been linked too often to exploitative working practices, which in many cases has seen flexibility used as an excuse for poor pay and excessive hours before workers have the ability to actually make a living wage. They've also been linked to foreign challenger companies who do not pay their taxes in the country of operation. And I'd like to say, I think the Labour Party needs to look at national uh, tax system because we have national tax system in a multinational economy. And we need to see how companies can move their monies away around to avoid paying for tax in specific countries. Labour needs to introduce policies to protect good companies from unfair competition by exploitative companies that don't meet their obligations to society as well as their obligations to workers and customers, but also policies that encourage entrepreneurs. Labour needs to find courage that bring entrepreneurs to the party to start new businesses and SME owners, existing SME owners, to grow their business. I often hear that in Labour we all talk about entrepreneurs and new startups. We forget that many companies in the third or fourth year actually find that the most challenging to actually, because you get the start, you have the energy, but it's when you start to take on staff and get over 15. I actually found about 20, 25 staff was when we really first, our first period of challenge. 